today on Great Places Seen, a visit to where it all began, and an opportunity to see what's possible with a Tab 400 trailer. The annual New Camp Teardrop Rally. We're off. The rolling Virginia hills greet us as we roll north on a two-day drive to Sugar Creek, Ohio. After making a trip south from home in Washington, D.C., to our storage lot near Lake Anna. First destination, Deep Creek Lake in Western Maryland. Five states are on this trip, including three times through West Virginia, and that's just on the outbound leg. Mostly on day one, it's very scenic Western Maryland. It's no accident we're here. A beautiful secluded friendly campground, even in the rain. Day two, a second time in West Virginia. Is it just me or are the hills getting a lot steeper? Well, no problem for the Cayenne. It's pulling less than half its rated tow capacity. Quick lunch stopover just over the Pennsylvania line, and it's a room with a view. Third crossing into West Virginia. And that leads to a crossing of the mighty Ohio River. Yep, we found it here, Ohio. Heading north toward Cleveland, well, there's not that much to see, but it's an easy ride, and it's the home stretch. Soon arriving at the mothership, New Camp Headquarters. Behind those walls is where the Tab 400 was built about seven months ago. It's home again. Time to go over the hills and through the woods to Winklopleck Grove and U Camp 22.
Plenty of early arrivals are here. While there's no dedicated water or sewer hookups for a whole week, the New Camp folks have thought of everything. They put down hundreds of feet of water pipe and trucks will stop by later to empty the tanks. Right now, we're just watching the park fill up, even into the night. It's a day before the official start of U-Camp as trailers arrive. Incoming! Sunday is a quiet time to really see Sugar Creek. It looks nice gliding through the streets. Hey, we made it to Broadway. This is where the town began, a simple train depot put up by the Connaughton Railroad in 1882. Along these very tracks came the first residents of Sugar Creek, Swiss immigrants who made cheese using milk from Amish dairy farms. The original depot burned in 1914. The brick version was built the next year. It <laughs> kind of sounds like the Three Little Pigs fable, doesn't it? Well, maybe only two in this case. Yep, this is the little Switzerland of Ohio. of chalet-style architecture, plenty of memorabilia, downtown has an awful lot of charm. The past, where you'll always find low prices. Guaranteed. It's not rocket science in a small town, but Sugar Creek was home to a rocket scientist. and a couple of other big boys, too. Many small U.S. towns seem to have something claimed to be the world's largest. Here, keeping in Swiss tradition, it's a cuckoo clock. This one's legit. It was featured on the cover of the Guinness Book of World Records in 1978. But it wasn't always here. The Alpine Alpa restaurant in Wilmot, Ohio commissioned clockmaker Carl Schluterman to build the world's largest cuckoo clock in 1963. It took 12 years and $50,000. That was a huge amount back in the 1960s. 30 years exposure to Ohio's weather took its toll, but the enormous outdoor clock was restored to operating condition in 2007 thanks to Hampton Hotel's Save a Landmark program. But the restaurant closed two years later, and that's when a local store owner bought the clock and donated it to the village of Sugar Creek. It was relocated to its present home in 2012. Community leaders again returned the clock to working condition and now it runs every hour and half hour for all to enjoy.
back at UCAMP, it's the dog days of summer. And a beautiful end to the day as the rally is set to begin. Last arrivals are setting up their trailers and everyone's checking in. And look at all the things to do this week. Hey, two people from DC? I gotta go track them down. With registration the main official activity of day one, it's another opportunity to head down the road. Faster than a horse and buggy, the Cayenne loves these rolling, twisting roads. And here it is, a sprawling regional landmark, Layman's Hardware, really an Amish superstore. Let's try the east entrance. Jay Layman founded the store in 1955, and it's literally filled to the rafters with just about anything Amish with a few nods to mechanized life. Hand-operated machines, tools, and appliances harken back to a simpler time, and in this area, still very much in use. wood stoves, and kitchens that combine a nostalgic yet modern look while being simply fueled.
thirsty? Hey, this selection is huge. There's even a taste of the Mother Road, Route 66, in several flavors, of course. What a fascinating place, both historic and serving modern life. Layman seems to go on forever. There's something around every corner. Hey, this will keep you warm. Founder Jay Layman passed away in 2020, but not before restoring this British telephone booth. Let's take a few back roads and return to UCAMP. Summertime in Ohio puts you camp in the bullseye of a big storm. Hopefully there's not a tornado in that classic hook pattern moving overhead. This is intense. Not surprisingly, we're left with standing water, downed tree branches, and while the power's out, the folks at New Camp have generators humming. They've made an impressive quick cleanup, too. Other than some trailer awnings taking a hit, and the big tent flattened. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any damage to vehicles or trailers in the park, and everyone's okay. Yeah. 
Still, a few decided the storm was enough reason to cut their stay short, but that's an opportunity for some nearby boondockers to move in and hook up. Big tents back up, the seminars are on. And the sun came out in time for a group photo. Big group. Let's break out the drone. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome back. With that, it's time for food and a U-Camp movie. Day three of the rally, and that means giant Amish country donuts. Maybe not the best perspective on the table, but let's put it in a pan. Yeah, it's huge. That donut energy is coming in handy. It's time to tour the new camp factory. Yeah. Gleaming showroom trailers. They always look great new, right? Safety first as we head upstairs. It's the first New Camp trailer. New Camp has certainly come a long way in a short time. And here it is, the birthplace of the Tab 400. All of our build lines are set up this way and you can see we go throughout the process. Um, so you set it up the it, these guys can grab it, they can get it ready to the street.
That's a bed frame right there. So there goes the kitchen. A place for the refrigerator and a wall for the bathroom shower. Down goes the bed frame and he's standing where the batteries will go. Installing kitchen cabinets. Tag 320s are currently New Camp's most popular model. Hey, we've got plenty of storage bins. Every 400 owner has to have one of those. Literally thousands of component parts go into each trailer, all with that famous Amish craftsmanship. Hot and cold water, wiring harnesses, every nut and bolt needed to make an exceptional trailer. And look, it's the future, a fiberglass barefoot prototype. Across the street is the brand new service center and training academy. Actually, it's more impressive with the lights on. Even in the dark, there's much to see inside the workings of New Camp trailers. and a spacious service bay. Time for a quick bite down the road and then back to town. Hey, there's a one horsepower ride. What's on the menu? Pie. And a cold IPA to end the day. It's another hot, humid Ohio summer day.
more owner-led seminars and a great chance to get some questions answered and share some tips and tricks. Here comes another storm, but this one blew through without issue. As dark clouds rolled out, food trucks rolled in. After dinner, time to check out some trailer mods. Because of all the wet weather and soft ground, trucks to empty the black and gray tanks were delayed until the last day of the rally. But it all worked out and it all came out. One more trip into Sugar Creek for some provisions before hitting the road. This must be the brick capital of the world. Look, it's a vintage teardrop trailer. Every possible food ingredient must be in here. There's even dedicated parking. Guess what? E-bikes have become a hit with Amish in this area. take one last peek at some good-looking trailers here.
Time to pack up and enjoy one last sit by the campfire. Thanks New Camp for putting on a great rally. Next year's is already in the travel plans. Thank you for watching Great Places Seen, safe travels, and follow GPS to the next destination.